Creating our God experience. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you said, Go and do likewise. We hear your commandment in the Gospels to serve all people by loving everyone. The founding missionaries modeled their lives and ministry on you in our schools. Their lives of service taught many to follow you, who are the way, the truth, and the life. Their love for God and neighbour inspired them to walk in your footsteps and serve all. For the call to love and serve with you, we praise you and we thank you, Lord. Today, our Catholic schools continue to form every student to be persons for others, living like you did to make the reign of God alive in every human heart. Our schools open their hearts and make them big, to love and serve you in all things. For the gift to partner you on God's mission, we ask for your Spirit to always say, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Now, as we look forward to Catholic Education Conference, empower us, O Lord, to do your will and create our God experience for everybody. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, in their thirst for water, the people grumbled against Moses, saying, Why did you ever make us leave Egypt? Was it just to have us die here of thirst with our children and our livestock? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What shall I do with these people? A little more, and they will stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Go over there in front of the people, along with some of the elders of Israel, holding in your hand, as you go, the staff with which you struck the river. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock in Horeb. Strike the rock, and the water will flow from it for the people to drink. This Moses did in the presence of the elders of Israel. The place was called Massa, and Mary by, because the Israelites quarreled there and tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord in our midst or not? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our marriage charism. When we speak about charism, we are referring to the special gifts that the Spirit grants the believers, and that defines a specific vocation in the community for the service of the good of men and women. From this perspective, what is the personal gift or charisma left behind by Marcelin? What are the essential features that characterize our identity as Marys. There are three key elements that the Marys receive as a personal gift of Marceline Champagne and that today define the essential features of our identity as Marys. One, spirituality. One that is centered on Jesus, Marian and Apostolic. Our spirituality is a life seduced by Jesus, live in intimacy with Him. We cultivate our inner dimension of life, characterized by the exercise of living in God's presence, which accompanies and gives sense to our daily work. Being Marian and apostolic, invites us to look to Mary as the first disciples of Jesus. 
or our response, He is our model of listening, of love for the poor and host to the message of God. As such, the Maris Mutu, a Jesum per Miriam, in Latin, meaning all to Jesus through Mary, all to Mary for Jesus. 2. Fraternity, also known as family spirit. The family spirit provides space and time to share faith and life. It generates community. Following the example of Jesus, Mary and Marceline, we meet with others to walk together, sharing and helping each other grow in faith and mission. To quote St. Marceline, who said, that they can say of you as they did of the first Christians, see how they love each other. And lastly, mission. Mission in the midst of the children and young people. We must help new generations discover the face of God and have faith in abundance. Following the footsteps of Champagne, we also must respond to the cry of the mountains of today. Montan was a young boy whom St. Marceline encountered and responded by ensuring no child should be left out without an opportunity to know God and be educated. We cannot see a child without loving him and telling him how much God loves him. That's the golden rule of Mary's educator is. If you want to teach young people, first, you must love them. You must love them all equally. Reflection from Scripture Is the Lord in our midst or not? To Saint Marceline Champagne, the answer was always a yes. That is why the table found at the center of the congregation, La Valla, was so significant. Because Marceline knew that to be gathered around the table as a family was a constant reminder of God's love and presence. It was extraordinary for him as a priest to move out of the rectory and into the tiny humble house at the Valla. But this is from where our Marist pillars come. Presence, simplicity, family spirit, all symbolized in the table at La Valla. The founder's great love for his brothers was one of his most memorable characteristics. He lived a practical Christianity. Love always translated itself into concrete action. Let us now recite a decade of the rosary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your home, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Call to action. The needs of others and their suffering often shape and transform us as it did to affect St. Marshallin's character, outlook on life and spirituality. St. Marshallin was aware of God's presence and relied completely on Mary. Sometimes setbacks in life can turn out to be a great source of personal and spiritual growth. Identify a setback in your own life. In what ways did it challenge you to turn to Mary to grow more as a person and as a disciple of Jesus? Having gone through that personal experience, how do you help a friend if you are a student or help your students if you are a teacher to encounter Jesus in similar ways when they are in a similar situation? Gracious God, you create us and love us. You create us to live together in community. We thank you for all who have been filled with your vision for our lives and who have worked to bring your vision into reality. Fill us with your vision. Guide us to live by your vision, working to build the beloved community where everyone is welcomed. All are valued. Power is shared. Privilege is no more and all your children know wholeness and well-being. I still the busy chatter of my mind and enter into your peace. Your touch awakens the wisdom of my heart's deep well. As the spring night deepens, I ask your help to be present to your love, to be present to one another, to open our hearts to this experience. Deepen our compassion, help us to know that you are always in our midst. Amen. St. Marshall in Champagne, pray for us. Mary, our good mother, pray for us. Let us remember to pray for each other. Thank you. 